Hello, Alvin. Can I go now? I did what you asked. Not so fast. That was our deal. You said if I brought him in, you would let me go. I never said I'd let you go. I said I'd let you live. Miss Malik, how are you enjoying your time with the task force so far? Well, today wasn't so great. We lost Vaselli, then Richard Diva, and didn't even get eyes on Wu Jing. Diva, you and he share a past, do you not? I'm pretty sure you're aware he's the CIA agent who betrayed me. Ah, well, the nice thing about this job is that your fortunes can change on a dime. I'm texting you an address. Hold on, it's a new phone. Ah, uh, there. I suggest you get there right away. Why? There's a gift waiting for you. Consider it a belated welcome to the team. Well, hey there, partner. Did you miss me? I heard you paid Agnes a visit today. She was raving about the merits of mayonnaise. <laughs> yes. I stopped by. I was hoping to speak with you about Herbie Hambright. Ah, Herbie. He's a little starved for attention, isn't he? Indeed. I think you should hire him, Harold. Excuse me? He so desperately wants to be part of a team. Your team, in fact. I think it would be wonderful for him. Though I should warn you, he's not entirely a team player. What a ringing endorsement. He's an unconventional choice. What can I say? You won't find a more qualified forensic analyst. He did do great work for us, but he'd have to be vetted. Wasn't he fired by the DA's office for dropping the ball on a murder case? No, the DA's office dropped the ball and Herbie left the job. It all took quite a toll on him. Of course, I'm biased. I adore the guy. Somewhere in all those frailties is an incredible mind. He sees things in ways that others don't. I really think he could offer a fresh perspective. I'll see if I can get him approved on a provisional basis. <sighs> that sounds just fine. Harold, I couldn't help but notice that you forgot to 